guys, long time no see. I'm sorry about that. It has been a few months since I've uploaded my last video, which was the Bagu Spring Collection haul and review. And in that video, I did mention if you guys were interested, I would do a what's in my bag for the medium cargo crossbody. So better late than never, I'm doing it now. Ever since that video, I did pick it up in a new color. So this one right here is in the shade Mango, which is a Urban Outfitters exclusive. I have just fallen in love with the style and functionality of this bag. For me, this is like a very col like different color for my collection. I don't own any yellow bags. It's kind of like a yellowy orange, but I don't own anything like this and I thought it'd be so cute and fun for summer. So it really is the color of a mango. It's so beautiful. I'm sitting in natural light, so hopefully this is translating pretty accurately. But yeah, this color is exclusive to Urban Outfitters and they carry it in a bunch of different styles, not just this style if you don't want the medium cargo, but they do have a lot in this color. I did want to just show the original one that I picked up that was in my last video, the spring collection video. This one's in Azalea Pink. So that's how they look together. They're so cute. I have mine packed to the brim, so we're going to have to get started so that this doesn't take forever. This bag is adjustable. It can be worn sh over the shoulder or crossbody. I'll show you guys right now what it looks like on me. I'm 5'1", so this is kind of where I like it to sit. Let me move back. This is where I like it if I'm gonna wear it as a shoulder bag. And then this is what it looks like crossbody. I think it fits so much without being too bulky, especially like on my shorter frame. And again, this, it, I could make it like higher or lower if I wanted to. There's a ton of like extra space on this strap. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get into what I have hanging off of it, like all my little keychains and stuff. So on the main zipper, I have this little My Melody. She's like a superhero. This is from a Five Below blind box. And I thought the little yellow accents on here looked really cute with the yellow bag. And then over here on one of the cargo pocket zippers, I have this little boba keychain that came with an AirPods case and you'll see that in here. And then this little flower clip is actually from the Dollar Tree. So I really like how it accents the bag and it's really useful to have a claw clip to put my hair up anytime I get hot. One of the, my favorite things about this bag is the two front pockets. I like using this for things that I reach for really often. So this one on the right, I carry my wallet. Let me pull it out. So this is the Coach zip card case from the newer Cherry Collection from this year, from 2024. And it looks like this. And then on the back, I don't want to show you guys my ID, but yeah, on the back it has like the ID slot and then has a zipper. I really like this print, but I wish, I don't know, there's something about this bright, deep, I don't know, kind of like magenta color. I don't love. I wish it was just all this lighter pink. It's really cute. I love cherries. Anything with the cherry print is my jam. I wish they used a different color here. Anyway, just being nitpicky. So that's all I keep in that pocket just for easy access. And then in this other zip pocket, another thing I like to have easily accessible is my keys. This is my little wristlet strap from Urban Outfitters Bagu. That one's exclusive to Urban Outfitters. And then I have my car key, apartment key, don't really want to show that, my library key, my little Aldi quarter holder and an air tag so I like having those items in these front pockets because i reach for them all the time and then in the main compartment i'll give you an overview of what it looks like it's packed i have a lot in here i actually have a purse organizer so once i empty this out i'll show you the purse organizer but yeah this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff from back here. It does come with like the zipper pocket in the back. Right now I don't have anything in there because I have my organizer so I already have a lot of pockets. But right in front of that I have this little guy, a summer essential. I got this at Five Below and it is just a little fan. It is just so freaking hot here. Like I 
I can't, it's too hot. And a lot of activities that we do are require walking, okay? Like, especially when we're in the city, it's too freaking hot to not have a fan. So this is a lifesaver, you need a fan. It's like 90 degrees outside, it's too hot. Next to that, I have this little pouch. It's like an old Ipsy pouch. I never even had Ipsy, I bought the second hand. Oh, also don't mind, a pen exploded on my hand today and I've washed my hands like a million times and it hasn't come out. So if you see <laughs> any black dots on my hands, it's just pen marks. Um, anyways, so yeah, I thrifted this because I thought it was so cute. Like, look how cute this print is. I am a Halloween lover and pink is my favorite color. So like, I have to get this. And like, the zip is a ghost. Can you see that? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so in here, I just have some random little things. I have a portable charger, which this is actually also a portable charger. You can charge your phone with this fan but um, I don't want to carry around a cord so I have this one that just plugs straight into your phone I have my little loop earplugs if you guys don't know what these are they're basically just noise canceling or like it kind of muffles the noise um, they're just regular earplugs I'll show you what they look like I have the silver ones because I tend to wear silver jewelry so it just looks really actually quite cute like kind of like jewelry in your ear and I like having this for like, just anytime I'm in a situation where it's like really loud, like a loud restaurant, a concert, something like that. I bought these last year for Lollapalooza and I've kept them in my purse ever since and they've come in handy so many times. So if you're someone who just gets irritated or overstimulated by loud noises, big crowds, concerts, stuff like that, this is just something that kind of helps calm me down and muffle that noise a little bit. So totally recommend those. I have a scrunchie self-explanatory um anytime I need to put my hair up let's see I have a little nail file and it has this case so cute from Dollar Tree I have some oil absorbing sheets I have dry skin but the summer heat is just like it's it makes you sweat so sometimes you get oily so you need those I have gum this one is the trident in mint bliss this is like a really nice like sweet mint flavor so I like that and then last couple things I have in here are a shout wipe and this little like drink mix that has caffeine in it. This is from Market Pantry, so the Target brand. And I am someone who has to have caffeine every day. I have to drink a cup of coffee. If not, I'll get a headache. So if for some reason I don't have access to coffee, I can just throw this in my water and get some caffeine so that I don't get a headache. And these are actually really good. This is a blue raspberry one. So that's everything that was in that pouch. Next, I have my reusable bags. So in Chicago, there's like a bag fee if you use plastic bags. So I have always, even before moving here, used reusable bags, but I definitely make sure to keep these on me because I never know when I'm gonna pop into a store and need a bag and I don't wanna have to pay for a bag. And also I wanna use my cute little bag goose. So, this one is the standard size in the Dolphins print. This is like a discontinued print, but it's one chef's kiss. One of my favorite prints they've ever done. And then this one is, I think, still available. It's a baby size, and this one's in Charms, the Charms print. I never leave the house without reusable bags. I have some in my car just in case, but those I just keep on me. And then, let's see, I have some feminine hygiene products pretty self-explanatory and then oh here's my airpods case that matches this little charm look how cute so i have the airpods pro also just never really like leaving the house without these for the same reason as like the loops earplugs just sometimes when you're shopping you just need to like tune everything out and just like have your own moment so love these also like taking a phone call it's nice to be able to have your headphones on you i have a hand lotion this scent I recently discovered from EOS it's the vanilla cashmere the body lotion is really popular and I started off with that and I was like oh my gosh I love this scent so I realized they have it in a hand cream that's only like three or four dollars oh my gosh this smells so good if you love vanilla and you haven't tried the EOS vanilla cashmere scent I highly recommend it so got that in there for the dry and crusty hands 
I have two hand sanitizers in here. Um, both Bath and Body Works. This one's Butterfly and this one's Strawberry Pound Cake. I'm definitely gonna take one of these out. I don't need two. I have a snack. This has been my current obsession from, I get these at Costco. They're Bobo's. Um, so it's basically like oat, like an oat thing with jelly in it. And this one's strawberry flavored. Super yummy, just in case I'm hangry. A little mini native deodorant. This one's in coconut vanilla. Essential for the summer. All the time, but especially the summer. I have a little pill case. This is the Van Gogh Sunflowers print, and I've just got any pills that I might need when I'm on the go. Tie to go pen comes in handy all the time. I know I have that shout wipe, but that's a one-time use wipe. This one's like, obviously you can reuse it multiple times until it runs out. Comes in handy literally all the time. So if you don't carry one, I'd highly recommend that. Um, this is from insert name here. And it is called their quick slick hair essence. This is basically for like flyaways or baby hairs. I especially like to have this when I have my hair in like a slick back. Sometimes, you know, just, there's just like a piece of hair that's popping out and you want to slick it back. So there's that guy. You can't tell I'm the kind of person that like, I like to have anything that I might need when I leave the house. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel comfortable to have all this stuff because all of it has come in handy yet one point or another so anyways I have a couple little fragrances this is Fleur Missing Person this one smells really nice I don't have the full size I just have this little deluxe sample and then this is Glossier U which is a classic and this one I do have the full size of this one's a roller ball and this one's a spray that matters oh I have this little guy from Be Pure also from the Dollar Tree it's a cuticle oil balm I really like this because a lot of cuticle oils are oily and I don't want to put that in my purse in case it explodes but since this is a balm I don't have to worry about it like exploding on the inside of my purse and I need to use this more often than I do because my cuticles can get crusty. Okay um, moving on to my little lip section I have two Pat McGrath lip glosses. This one is in the shade Faux Real like F-A-U-X real and then this one is an earth angel if you guys are into pat mcgrath i have been finding these at marshall's i got each of these for ten dollars at marshall's and i've been loving them and they smell like vanilla um i also got this at marshall's i'm a big marshall's girly if you can't tell this is anastasia lip gloss in deep taupe so this is, that was rude this is what that looks like a little bit deeper than faux real i got this la colors juice bar lip oil it's just a clear lip oil with an orangey scent it smells so good and this formula is actually really nice and then i have the tarte maracuja juicy lip satin in the shade berry it's like a nice pop of color and then the summer fridays lip butter balm in brown sugar all the girlies have one of these at least one of these i think that's all the lippies i have in here oh nope girl i have a couple more this is the huda beauty lip contour in warm brown i like this for my purse because it's a mini and it's retractable so i don't have to sharpen it and then this lipstick is mac and honey love such a good everyday nude so now that's all of my lip products next i have a body mist this is the newest well one of the newer ones from sol de janeiro the number 59 I just recently picked this up and to me it smells so much like vanilla skin from Fleur. Does anyone else think that? Oh my gosh it smells exactly like vanilla skin from Fleur and I had bought vanilla skin in the last Sephora sale and this one I just recently picked up so I was like I don't need to have vanilla skin and this at home because they smell the same so I put one in my purse. So there's there's that guy it smells really good can't go wrong and i like a body mist for the summer you just like kind of drench yourself in it and make yourself smell good and kind of it's kind of refreshing as well getting down to it i have a little mirror comb situation we've all seen these also from dollar tree dollar tree's killing it and i have a sunglasses case this is also from bagu and my current sunglasses 
are these ones from Key. They're these green ones. I love them. The style is on the fly. I really like these because they're pop of color, but they're still neutral and like go with all of my outfits. I also love that they don't have nose pieces, so I can just really easily put it up into my hair. Oh, I hate when it has that nose piece and it like yanks your freaking hair out. So this one has become like my favorite go-to pair of sunglasses for this spring summer season. Really love them. Last thing I have in here, I'm not going to go through every single item. I'm just going to kind of tell you this is my emergency pouch. It is a Bagu little pouch and I, I have all kinds of stuff in here. I have eye drops, alcohol wipes, hair ties, bobby pins, mints, band-aids, that kind of thing all goes in here. I have done another what's in my purse video where I went through everything that's in this bag. So I will link that one down below, but it's just my emergency kit. I always recommend having an emergency kit. What is useful to me might not be useful to you. For example, I have a pair of contacts in here and eye drops. And if you don't wear contacts or if you don't get dry eyes, that wouldn't be helpful for you. But you know, just something, a little case that you can take from purse to purse really easily that has things that come in handy for you all the time. I recommend having that. Comes in handy literally all the time. Last thing I have to the side over here is just a few receipts that I kind of shoved in there from Marshalls and Five Below, which is where I went earlier today. So now you can see it's empty besides the bag organizer. So this is what a bag organizer looks like if you haven't seen one before. It just, it's kind of like a little bag inside your bag. And the thing that makes this so useful is it just, it's so many pockets. All of them are kind of created a little bit differently. This one happens to be from the A New Day brand at Target. They also sell these on Amazon. I don't think Target sells this one anymore. They sell these on Amazon in different sizes, colors, with different kind of organizational layouts. This one's just been working for me and I like the way that it's laid out, but it, it has so much you know, little storage spots for different items, like little pen slots. I don't need, I'm not even using these. So I'm gonna put everything back in here and show you how I have it organized, just for reference if you're curious. And then I'm gonna go through some items that a lot of people might want to carry in here and wonder if this bag fits it. So just give me a moment to refill this. I put everything back in here so I can show you just how I have it organized. So. These outside pockets, my sunglasses, and my little brush. And then here's how it looks on the inside. So my body spray, some of my larger items, and then these like slip pockets are really useful. Hand sanitizer, like my perfumes and tie to go, all my lip products, my little feminine hygiene items, and then my reusable bags are slipped into here also if you're someone who switches bags a lot and you use bigger bags just having this and being able to pick it up and put it in one bag is so helpful you may be wondering okay well does this bag fit dot 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 and i've grabbed a few items to show you guys if it fits it or not so first of all i have my 24 ounce awala water bottle fits with no problem. Another thing you might carry is, this is like a regular sized book. I don't read, okay, this is my husband's book. But that fits in there with plenty of room to spare. So books are no problem. AirPods, these are my AirPods Max. Fits with no problem at all. This is an iPad. Pro. So the larger one, not like the Air, this one doesn't fit. Even trying to kind of finagle it this way, it doesn't fit. It does fit like this, but it would be sticking out. So I would say no, that doesn't fit. They do have a larger size of this. So this is the medium size. They do have a large size. So if you wanted to fit a laptop or iPad, like a larger iPad like mine, then I would look into getting the large size, but the medium size is good for pretty much anything that's smaller than a laptop. Um, a Kindle would fit in here. 
what else do people carry even like a larger book than the one that i showed um that one's just like a standard size but maybe like a larger hardcover book would also fit in here um but like if you're using it for school textbooks wouldn't fit in here stuff like that would not i hope you guys found this video useful helpful i know it was a long time coming i'm sorry about the delay but better like i said in the beginning of the video better late than never if you guys are interested in other bagu bags i do have a bagu collection on my channel i do have reviews of some of their more recent collections like the fall one from last year and the spring one from this year <laughs> You don't have to do all of that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Please request other videos in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you own this bag and you love it. Let me know if you clicked on this because you're trying to decide if you want this bag and let me know what your decision was if you ended up getting it or if this isn't right for you. Um, and how do I feel about mango? I was really unsure about this color at first, but it has grown on me so much and I love it. It's just so happy and bright and fun and different, but still kind of neutral. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.